Hey guys, hope you're well. Today we're hanging out in the man cave, having us a nice drink, and we're going to talk about a really cool new bike from Triumph. Alright, when I said it was a cool new bike, not really. This bike was originally introduced in 1938, and if you can't guess which one it is or you didn't see my title, we're talking about the Speed Twin. Speed Twin's been a popular one. I've had a lot of requests to review this bike. Um, I haven't got to ride the bike yet, so what I thought we'd do in the meantime is do an overview, talk about it, let's start it up and listen to it per all the usual stuff, and then as soon as I get a demo bike in, I'll take it out and get the impressions for you guys. Well, let's talk about what this bike really is, and I'm going to kind of oversimplify this. I think it could be debatable. If you had to ask me in a pinch, and I just had a very short time to explain, I would say this is a street twin with a Thruxton R or a Bonneville motor in it. So it's got a much bigger engine, and it sits like a street twin. It's sort of upright. It's not quite as necessarily comfortable in upright as, say, a, a standard Bonneville. It's a little sportier than that. Your feet are canted a little bit more back, and you might be riding just a little more forward on the bike. So I would say it's a street twin with a Bonneville motor. Performance-wise, you're getting a Bonneville 1200, like I said. It's 11.0.1 uh, compression. So it's you know this is standard Bonneville motor, what, seemingly. Uh, there's one difference. This is the newest iteration of that motor, which will be seen in, as I'm told, the Triumph uh, Factory Custom Thruxton R, which is to come out in 2020. So you're getting a taste of the new engine uh, in advance with this bike, which is pretty cool. And the price of the bike is excellent at starting at around 12 to 13 grand, depending on, you know, taxes and, and where you live and freight and setup and that kind of thing. Uh, and what accessories you get on the bike. Now, that's one thing about this bike. It's a fairly standard motorcycle. Um, why is this bike so much cheaper than, for example, even a Thruxton? Well, Thruxton's coming in at around the 15 mark. Well, when you look at the bike, the component level, that's where you're going to notice it. The forks, the suspension, uh, the, the rear suspension, that is. Uh, the brakes, you know, they're, they're not quite as nice as you'll find on a Thruxton R. And these are, these are very different bikes. You sit on a Thrux and it's quite aggressive in seating. Um, it feels like an old school race bike. This bike's a little more comfy. You've got the bench seat on it. Um, it looks really nice too. It's very chic. It's very, uh, you know, you could, stylistically, you could do a lot with this bike, make it your own. If you look at the numbers from Triumph, we're seeing nearly identical to previous Thrux than ours. Uh, we see the 96 horsepower. We see the 82 point whatever foot pounds of torque so those numbers aren't really changing but what i would say is that what you, what what are the changes to come will be how fast the bike revs so we have the lightning of internal components um, other than that it's the same uh, stroke it's the same 270 degree crank um, it's it's the same engine uh, it's just refined a little bit more now does that mean it's a better bike than a thruxton again that's subjective and really, I think they're two different bikes. They, they, they feel completely different when you sit on them. One bizarre thing to know with this bike is that it's actually lighter than a Thruxton R. Coming in, I think, at around 15 pounds lighter than a Thruxton R. Which, if you sit on this Speed Twin, it is so light. It's, it really doesn't feel that much different than being on a Street Twin. Now, of course, it is heavier than a Street Twin, but it feels extremely light especially compared to a Bonneville. The dry weight of this bike, 432 pounds dry. As with many of the other Bonneville bikes, you also are moving up into a six-speed transmission. I actually really like that. Um, you know, the, the Street Twin and the Scrambler, Street Scrambler, have a five-speed transmission. It's perfectly capable. Um, it'll get you all the way just above 90 miles an hour, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's very wide geared at the top of that fifth gear. But having a sixth gear is just really nice, and it means that you're going to be cruising at any speed at a comfortable low purring RPM. And these bikes are great about torque, so you don't have to wind them up sky high to get great power out of them. You're going to be getting, you know, 60-70% of the power uh, at 3200 RPM, something like that. It's really crazy. You get this huge linear burst of power, as with any any Triumph, really. I mean, even the triples operate this way. The The, the twins are the same it's a smooth you know really you feel the power 
in a sort of in the midpoint of the rev range and it's likely to the parallel twin and the 270 degree crank. As for the brakes, you do get a pretty beefy set of brakes up front and some pretty standard ones in the rear and the front. We're going to get a four piston uh, Brembo twin disc setup. Interestingly, these brakes are fixed in the front and I'm just usually I see floating. Uh, I had to actually look into what that meant. Uh, it's essentially the way that the, the calipers actually close on the disc, so you're getting closing on both sides of the disc instead of pressing on one. I'm probably oversimplifying that, but I will tell you that, generally speaking, uh, fixed are more expensive. So uh, that, it looks really good on the bike, and they look beefy. Now, I haven't ridden it yet, but uh, I suspect that front brake is going to work just fine. The rear is a two-pot Nissan single disc, you know, it's a rear brake. It's a pretty light bike. I suspect it'll be sufficient. Um, as far as I know, there's not going to be a sort of upgraded model that you can purchase. You know, this is sort of the standard fare. Uh, however, with the suspension, you are getting a uh, pretty standard uh, bit of kit there. So uh, that's something you can upgrade right at your Triumph dealer. You can go talk to them, get Fox Racing. I'm sure they have other uh, brands that are available as well. Uh, they're, they're, they're twin shocks in the rear and uh, 41 millimeter forks in the front so they are cartridge forks this bike does come with ride modes rain road and sport and essentially this is you know to make this simple it's the throttle mapping so how does the throttle get delivered upon just fully opening the throttle if you're on rain mode it's going to slowly deliver you power if you're on road that's standard and if you're on sport you're going to get quicker access to the to the uh, fuel supply so depending on your style of riding or what's going on around you you also get ABS which is really nice now as far as styling you're gonna be getting three uh, colors this year to choose from there's your jet black looking sort of which is kind of the standard in the street twin uh, setup uh, there's a silver and red model which is the one that we're looking at and then there is a silver and black model or more mostly silver model so they all look pretty good i tend to find myself more attracted to the red what about you guys as far as accessories go right now they're showing a catalog of about 61 parts it's quite a bit but if you start to look at them many of them are kind of the same and it's it's a new bike for this year at least as far as uh it's not really the same speed twin that it was you know in 1938 i think it'll get there and there will be certainly third party support and it's certainly a bike that you know it's going to it's going to allow people to transform it into what they want it to be I would say what I'm really interested in is to see people take these and turn them into off-road bikes like they do at Bonneville. All right, well, let's uh, let's talk gauges and lights. And looking at the bike, uh, you do have a standard bulb headlight. So it's sort of, you know, very standard to this, sort of like the Street Twin. Uh, however, you do get LEDs for your indicators and your integrated uh, tail lights. So you have integrated brake and turn signals in the rear. It looks really cool on the bike, actually. They did a good job with that. That's one of the high points, I would say. And as for the gauge, you're going to be getting the Thruxton dual gauge set up, the dual cluster. I think it looks pretty good, but again, you know, I noticed in talking to a lot of long-term Triumph fans, uh, this is a bike that people either love or don't love the look of the bike. I'm interested to hear your feedback on the matter because, frankly, I find the bike really from a from a pure motorcycle standpoint, I find it appealing. Now, is it a bike I would buy? Uh, well, I really like my Tiger. <laughs> I've, I've grown to, I, I can't really see myself on any other bike than a Tiger. That said, the retro line from Triumph is a bike that I would like to be seen on. It looks really good. They're fun to ride for for certain. Uh, but uh, it, it really is an attitude and going going around town on them just you feel good on these bikes and I can already tell this bike is going to be no different. Okay that's enough chit chat for right now let's go out there and actually start that bad boy up and see what she sounds like. Alright guys so in first person we're going to start the bike up and uh, I'll show you the gauges and I'll show you the or at least give you an idea of what the bike sounds like so here we go. beefy see your rpms really nice tone
Well, I'll wrap this video up with just, you know, a bit of criticism, I think. You know, just to, uh, no bike is perfect, and I haven't ridden it yet, but the only bit of criticism I have about the styling is the edges on the tank. I find, I really like it when they're smooth and rounded underneath, and they don't have that seam that's going along. I'm sure it's much more expensive to make a tank that way, and of course we would be eating the price of that uh, upgrade. But I find stylistically that's something I really, really, I find that on, on basically all the retro bikes at this point from Triumph is I wish they would get rid of that seam, make it look really smooth and rounded on that. Other thing, you know, I really like the LED headlight. I think it looks really neat from up front. It's really subjective to me because I don't ride at night very often. And I, if I was riding at night, it probably wouldn't be on this. It would be on my Tiger, which, you know, I can put all kinds of accessorized lights on for functionality. It doesn't have to look good. Uh, so the headlight looks good on the bike. But I really like the LEDs. That I like that they can project and give you a sort of shotgun blast at the same time of light. Anyways, those are the only critical points that I have right now. Uh, love to hear what you guys think about the bike. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope that you subscribe and like the video. Uh, if, if there's something you don't like about the video, please let me know. I'm always looking to make the channel better. So with that, have a good one. Later.